it comes to politics, it can be hard to get the straight facts. That's why the Verify team is here, to cut through the spin. Online, there are a lot of posts about President Donald Trump's recent executive order, deferring the payroll tax. Many are asking what this would mean for Social Security. So let's verify a few of the biggest questions with some help from our sources. Edward Carl from the Association of International CPAs and Howell Jackson, a professor at Harvard Law. Question one. Did President Trump permanently cut the federal payroll tax with his executive order? This one is false. You see, this was a deferral, not a permanent cut, which will last from September to the end of the year. So deferral means it just postpone when you pay it. At the end of the four months, you have to pay it back. And that brings us to question number two. Does this mean that we're going to get more money in our paychecks come September? I would actually say it's not clear. Jackson says it's going to depend on your company. He says a company could decide to pay you what's no longer collected in taxes, but they may choose to hold on to it in case they need to pay back the feds in January. If you are sitting in an HR department, you're talking with your attorneys about what to do. Meanwhile, Carl points out that we're still waiting on guidance from the Treasury to dictate whether this deferral is optional. Finally, question three, will this impact the Social Security Fund? This one also is not yet clear. You see, our experts say our payroll taxes are earmarked specifically for programs like Social Security and Medicare. But since this is just a deferral, our experts say that presumably our money will be sent to the fund eventually. President Trump has suggested that the government could forgive this tax, but ultimately that decision would be made by Congress. If the payroll taxes are never paid into Social Security, that will weaken the trust fund. It won't hurt benefits immediately. And our experts say that if this did happen, Congress would have the option to replace those funds through a separate spending bill. With your Verify, this is Evan Kozlov.